Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel Applied Forensic Research Sciences. Today we are here to discuss on the topic History of DNA Typing which is presented by Kapil Raikwar, volunteer at Applied Forensic Research Sciences. In this we will be going through the following contents. First we will begin with the introduction to DNA Typing, then its principle, then the history, then the steps followed in DNA Typing technique which are used in the DNA typing, advantages and disadvantages of DNA typing and its uses in forensic sciences. So let's begin with the introduction of DNA typing. DNA typing is a technique of isolating and identifying variable elements within the base pair sequence of DNA. This technique was developed by Alex Jeffrey in 1984. It is also known as DNA profiling or genetic fingerprinting. Now talking about the principle of DNA typing. This technique uses variable number of tandem repeats or VNTRs which are highly variable repeat sequences. Within the species, the nucleotide sequence or repeat unit is highly conserved among all individuals but difference in the number of repeats is quite common. In human chromosome, many VNTR regions are bordered by restriction antinucleosides on either side. Alleles of a given VNTR differ from each other in the segment side and are cut by restriction antinucleus. Thus, it gives rise to unique RFLP pattern. Then, talking about the history of DNA type. In 1980s, Ray White described first polymorphic RFLP marker. Then in 1985, Alex Jeffrey discovered multi-locus VNTR probes. Then in the same year, the PCR technique was first published in the journal Science by Carey Mollis. Then in 1988, the FBI laboratory began forensic casework and is now the main provider of DNA testing services in the country. Then, in 1991, first paper on HDR was published. Then, in 1995, Forensic Science Services UK start UK DNA database. Then, in 1998, FBI launches CODIS, that is Combined DNA Information Service Database. Now, FBI use 13 loci. Let's have a general look on the steps in the DNA typing. First, we will be taking a sample which is properly collected and is preserved. DNA then is isolated on the sample by the various extraction methods. Then using a specific restriction enzyme, the DNA fragment is cut at a specific site. This is done to obtain RFLP. Then using gel electrophoresis, the DNA fragment of various sizes are obtained. Then the gel are immersed in sodium hydroxide solution which denature the DNA into single standard DNA. Then sudden blotting technique is used to transfer the single standard DNA onto the nitrocellulose membrane. This DNA fragment is subjected to hybridization with a suitable DNA probe tagged with radioactive substance. Then it is compared with the sample of the subtract with the evidence. We are seeing only the major techniques which are used in DNA typing. First is RFLP, restriction for fragment length polymorphism. Second is PCR. Third is HTR short tandem repeat. Fourth is mitochondrial DNA analysis, which is mainly used for maternity testing. Now, talking about the advantages of DNA typing, it's an easy and painless method. It is quite affordable and reliable technique. It required short amount of time. Since 1984, this technique has been used thus making it highly developed and proved. Now talking about the disadvantages of DNA typing, the sample of DNA can be easily ruined during the process. The process is complex and tedious. The test need to be run on multiple samples for ideal accuracy. Now talking about the application of DNA typing, it is helpful in paternity and maternity cases. It is also helpful in criminal identification and forensics. 
and thirdly it is also useful in personal identification of criminals. These are the following references which I have used to prepare my presentation. Hope you enjoyed this lecture. If you have any doubt regarding the session, you can put that in the comment box. Thank you for listening us.